I'm Ed Kelly, editor of The Oklahoman. Sitting inside the Oklahoma City Museum of Art and surrounded by Roman art from the Louvre, this big and massive collection from the Louvre in Paris. When you come to the museum, be sure to rent one of these devices to take an audio tour of some of those talked about pieces in this magnificent exhibit. Because when you do rent this device, the voice you'll hear is that of our guest here on News OK TV, Dr. Rufus Fears, professor of classics at the University of Oklahoma. Dr. Fears, when visitors come here to the museum to see this great exhibit, what should they look for to really maximize their experience? Well, you're quite right that this is a magnificent exhibit. It has some of the finest pieces of Roman art in the world. Right. And that it came here to Oklahoma City is due to the superb uh, support of the donors and friends of this museum and Carolyn Hill, its director, who has brought all this together. So it is a remarkable tribute to Oklahoma City itself. Now, going into a museum to see great works of art is like reading a great book. Right. Uh, the first step is selectivity. You cannot right. read all the great books in the world, nor can you see all the pieces in detail in any museum or even in this exhibit. So pick those pieces that speak to you okay. personally. Because already Aristotle, writing in the Athenian democracy, said the true purpose of art is to elevate your soul to inspire you with noble thoughts. Now, you must pick, as you would with a great book, a great theme. And the theme of this exhibit is the immense majesty of the Roman Empire, which in the first two centuries of the Christian era brought a peace and prosperity to the world all the way from Britain out to Iraq, from the North Seas of Germany to the sands of the right. Sahara, that it has never achieved again. So that is the theme, the leaders and the ordinary Romans, the middle class Roman, prosperous and patriotic, who supported this empire, the soldiers who guarded this vast frontier, the most cost efficient army in all of history. That's the theme. So immerse yourself in works that speak to you okay. and that convey this theme of understanding the lessons of Rome for our own day. You'll lecture here in mid-September on essentially lessons from the Roman Empire for America today. Give us a preview of what you're going to talk about before this group in September. Well, the founders of our country, George Washington, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, they believed that Roman history was the most important single discipline for every citizen of a free republic to study. You should, you should be a lawyer, a newspaper person, right. but all of us should study Roman history because Rome was a model for our own country. The, our Constitution was based upon the lessons of the Roman Empire and the Roman Republic with its balance and its strong executive leader. However, the founders also understood that a great Constitution like ours, or like that of Rome, would make you a superpower. And one day the founders feared that we would have to choose between maintaining our freedom or maintaining the status of being a superpower. And they understood that Rome chose to be a superpower and to give up its republican freedom. That's one lesson. Mm -hmm. The second lesson is that the Roman Empire fell because of its involvement in the Middle East. Rome never wanted to get involved in the Middle East, but they went in as a result of a terrorist attack. And then they were unable to withdraw. And as a result of that focus, uh, the Roman emperors neglected major economic transformations that were occurring that destroyed the prosperity of the middle class. They increased taxes, which also destroyed the prosperity mm -hmm. of the middle class. Then they lost sight of other major problems, such as what we would call Central Europe today, right. corresponding to our uh, neglect of Russia at the moment. And as a result, the Middle East combined with the Central European tribes like the Germans and brought down the Roman Empire. On the other hand, the third positive lesson is that the Romans created a multicultural, diverse empire that ensured to every citizen of the Roman Empire protection under its laws and a status of equality and freedom unknown before that in history. And that is what America could build. Mm -hmm. So along that same line, if somehow these Roman leaders were able to walk the earth today, what would, were there things that they could, would recognize about America and the Western world? Well, the first thing that a Roman emperor like Vespasian would recognize is a great football stadium. <laughs> he would have said, the architecture of your stadium goes right back to sure. our Colosseum. Uh, the aqueducts 
Roman law, which Roman is still law, the right. law of one half of the entire world, all of these would be recognized by these uh, rulers. They would look at the architecture of Washington, D.C., and they would say, your founders understood the true lesson of beauty in a republic, and they built your capital to convey the lesson of our pantheon in Rome. And they would have also have said, however, had you asked them at the time, the first century A.D., if you had asked the Emperor Augustus, what will be your greatest legacy, he would have said it is the buildings, the aqueducts, the Roman law that we have created, our noble motto to bring help to the weak and to conquer the haughty and vicious and evil regimes. Not one of these men, wise as they were, would have understood that the true legacy of Rome, the greatest legacy, this is just a historical statement, happened in the reign of Augustus in a far off corner of that empire with a teacher. Mm -hmm. And so that makes us wonder, do we really know, despite all our news coverage, the most important thing going on in our world may be something quite outside the normal perimeters as it was with the birth of Jesus and the mission of Jesus, which occurred entirely within the framework of the Roman Empire. That's right. So those Roman emperors would have said, think about what your legacy will be, Americans. Yeah. Dr. Pierce, well done. Thank you. Stay here on News OK TV for more coverage of Roman art from the Louvre. Yeah.